Hello, I'm Jarton and today I'm going to show you one of my favourite tricks in maths and it doesn't involve numbers, it's just a bit of paper folding. Now if I'm going to start off with a little dunk in the bin here, I'm just going to take an old envelope, any old piece of paper, can't even tear it, there we go, so it's really rough. If you want to fold an angle of 180 degrees, 180 degrees is very simple, it's just a straight line like that, that's an angle of 180 degrees. Now if I want to fold 90 degrees, I do that exactly in half, fold it over, and that is a perfect angle of 90 degrees. And if you want to fold an angle of 45 degrees, which is half of 90, you do that. And if you want to fold an angle of 22.5 degrees, you do that. And if you want to fold an angle of 11.25 degrees, then seek professional help. I can't do anything for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> but all those kind of angles are easy. What's a bit more fun is what I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you how you can start off with a normal little piece of paper with right angles and fold a perfect hexagon. Yep, six sides, absolutely perfect. I'm going to do it twice. First time I'll do it quickly, but the second time I'll go slowly and take you through it. But the first thing we have to do before we fold the hexagon, we fold an equilateral triangle. Here we go. one perfect hexagon and each of these angles is exactly 120 degrees and of course if you were watching you realize that halfway through that's the equilateral triangle and each angle is 60 degrees right let's take you through it and show you how you can do this the first job is we need to fold our paper lengthways right down the middle get the long middle as I sometimes call it the way to do it is to make sure these corners are completely lined up put it down there be confident, and then once you've done that, you can go like that, and then holding it very firm, whiz that to the end, and then whiz that to the end. Perfecto! And the weird thing about this fold is that we immediately unfold it. <laughs> we don't want it. All we want is the mark it makes on the paper. Now, the next fold is where the trick works. I'm going to put my finger there, right in the very, very corner, then I bring the paper down here. And can you see, I'm putting the corner of the paper exactly on that fold that we've just made and that's got to come exactly down from that corner at the top so once you think you've got it right hold it nice and steady and then with a bit of confidence way hey by magic we have created an angle of 60 degrees i'll tell you why as well this is great i've got this marked up to show you why this works see these black lines here well if i do that that's how the paper started. That first fold we made chopped that edge in half. And so that black line is half as long as that edge. So when we fold that down there, obviously that is twice as long as that. So if we make that twice as long, let's see what happens. There we are. When we put those two of those together, that line is the same length as that line is the same length as that line. That's an equilateral triangle. So all of these angles are 60 degrees each. Having done that, this is pretty neat because that's 60, that's 30, that's 30, that's 90, that's 60, that's 90. That one is 60. And that's the key one. Because if we get back to this piece of paper that I was playing with to start with, we know that's 60 degrees. And this one is slightly satisfying. If you now fold... That over like that, exactly from that corner down there. See where my finger is there? And if you line those up perfectly, we have got a perfect equilateral triangle. <laughs> no, we haven't. We've got a sticky out bit. Hang on. You always get that bit. Right, let me just put that there. <laughs> perfect. Put that there. Okay. And actually what you can do is you can just tuck that in. Come on, you. There he goes in there. There he goes in there like that. And that, as I was saying, is our perfect equilateral triangle. Each angle is 60 degrees. But I promised you a hexagon. A hexagon you shall have. 
The next thing we need to do is find the centre of this triangle. Now some triangles have got lots of different centres, but equilateral triangles luckily only have one. So I'm going to fold this in half, you put corner to corner, then when I do this fold going down here, that fold should go straight to that corner. There we go, that's one that divides the line, that's pretty good. Let's just do one more. Uh, fold that one to there, okay, over to there, so those two match up. There you go, straight down to there, put in that line. Then where these two lines cross, we need to find that little magic point there. It's there, a little bit twiddled, but we can see exactly where it is. That is the centre of our triangle. And now, we put that one to the centre there. We fold this corner to the centre there. And this corner, these corners are all 60 degrees, of course, but we've got rid of our 60 degrees. And instead of three corners of 60 degrees, we have got six corners, and each of them is exactly 120 degrees, and that is your perfect hexagon. I know what you're thinking. Why would anybody actually want to fold a hexagon? Well, I like doing it because I'm a bit mad. But I'll tell you a really nice reason. If you get your piece of paper and unfold it, you can see the hexagon shape there, yeah? So you get a pair of scissors and then you chop round. And here we are, ta-da! Just one nice little flat hexagon. And now you just fold it over like that from corner to corner. And then you fold over a triangle. And the middle of the hexagon is just there under my thumb. And fold over another triangle to make it nice and neat. Then you fold it one more time to get this little thin triangle. And once you've done that, you get some scissors and then cut out. And I'm not very good at this, to be honest. But look, I've had a go. That's what I've done. And when you open it out, this to me is rather magic. Look what you get. I think it's great. It's a perfect six-point snowflake. Just what you need for winter decorations. What's more, when you cut yours out, you're probably going to do better patterns than I am. Yours is going to look fabulous. So have a go at the hexagons. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you.